What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Race Back. Today we're doing a very important mod to this truck. We're going to be installing our Raptor uh, steering wheel with the paddle shifters. Uh, seeing as it's now VMP, Odin, supercharged. Um, the column shifter works very, very well, but uh, sometimes, I mean, you kind of want to, you know, film yourself with one hand and grab the steering wheel and shift with the other. Not really possible. I have to let go of the steering wheel and press the button. Not the safest thing ever. Plus, it shifts really well and it's very responsive, so definitely warrants the paddle shifters. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be a lot more like a sports car afterwards. Uh, it's I took it on the canyon the other day and it was great even with the column shifter but i think it'll be better with these are the shifters going to be uh the paddles going to be functional hell yes we're using the boosted gray goose designs uh column shifter harness this is a new one where you don't have to solder anything apparently you just put the little pins in so i'll, I'll show you guys well kind of like how i do it uh there's like a little pdf for it so super excited for that uh, just look at some videos on YouTube. Uh, first step is to remove the the negative terminal on the battery. Uh, let it bleed for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and uh, you go eat breakfast while this uh, you know make sure the battery's all off so the steering wheel doesn't kill us. But yeah, super excited for this. See you guys in like two seconds. All right, so what we used to remove that negative terminal was a 10 millimeter ratcheting uh, wrench, as you saw. Clearly, we have the VMP Odin boy right over here. And I'm gonna show you guys the factory steering wheel before I get jamming on it. Um, I, I mean, a lot of people would complain like, oh, why does the Shelby truck not have like the leather wrap dash and all this stuff? Well, they start with the most loaded single cab truck they can start with, which is this, an XLT. But the XLT still comes with this rubberized uh, steering wheel, which is totally not cool. But um, here are the factory column shifter um, buttons, which work really well with the tune, actually. Uh, shout out to VMP. And this is actually the piece I'm going to have to transfer over. As you can see, they hydro dipped um, all of the trim all over here. I don't want some ugly Raptor plastic on here. I need to transfer this over. Also, this button is different. Uh, it's got like a steering wheel driving mode on there. So we need to keep that constant for sure. And yeah, gonna go ahead and swap this over right now. Um, there's these little pins over here. Just throw an Allen key in there and the the um, airbag should pop right off. And we should get jamming on that in about 10 minutes because we just disconnected the battery. And we'll pull off the steering wheel. And then I'm gonna have to put up pull up these two little plastics to put the harness in and then it should all just be able to come back together and we also have to data log the truck for vmp to get it 100 so yeah super uh, excited on that all right guys so we ended up using a, a longer screwdriver to uh get this off as you can see these holes go into this which then uh you know releases the clips you got to do one side then the other it'll fall right off so what you just have to do now is, um, you know, the sun's kind of messy, but these two clips right here, they come off and then there's like another little harness. And then after that, we'll be ready for business. It's excited for that. All right, guys. So, uh, we went ahead and took off the nut that holds everything in, in the middle of the steering wheel. It's a 15 16 easy money with my impact. If you don't have one, I actually recommend it. Got that at Harbor Freight. It was like, I don't know, not a lot of money compared to like a nice one, like a snap-on. Um, but yeah, took it off and this just slid right off. It wasn't seized on there or anything, uh, which was super nice. Um, and yeah, so we got this off. Now off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these. They just pop off, but I, wa I wanna be, um, I wanna have all my attention on that because I don't wanna damage anything. Plus I need to transfer these over to the new one. I'll do that off camera. I'll see you guys over here and um, yeah, I'll put it back in, it should be, Super simple. Oh, I should probably do this first. Yeah, I should I should do that first. I'm gonna do that first. <laughs> All right, guys, so a couple things I forgot to mention. There's this little trim piece over here. You just pull it up with your fingers and it pops right up. Uh, after that, you're gonna have this little clip right here. That was clipped in like, like so, right over here. Um, you disconnect the OEM plug, which is over here. And then the aftermarket harness goes right in between one, two. And then there's three pins. Um, you disconnect it from the back. And then this little white thing right here, it's a lock pin. So you pry it up on both sides. It slides out a little bit. 
And then you put in these, um, oh, I need to take that phone call, give me a second. But yeah, guys, so we uh, went ahead and took all this off. Um, three pins go on there, as you can see, he has it numbered. It's 9, 10, 11. Put them in there, you slide it back in, and then you put everything back together. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, but I do have to go drop my buddy off at the body shop. Um, so with none of your business, I guess. Because like, if, if for you guys, it's going to be two seconds. For me, it's going to be like an hour and a half, right? So yeah, I'll go ahead and put this back together, make it look all kosher, um, which is, I, I don't know why I said that. But, and then I'm gonna swap this over and we'll have the new steering wheel on there. That'll be super dope. And uh, yeah, yeah, stay tuned. All right guys, so I went ahead and transferred the carbon fiber trim. Looks way sicker than it did with the OEM Raptor plastic thing or whatever it was. Super quick swap. I'm gonna show you guys over here in the truck. I um, already buttoned everything up. When you put everything together, just kind of make sure everything, the whole surround of the plastics goes around this. Uh, I had to do it a couple times because I'm OCD about that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll probably get a new one of these because it was like pre-scratched from Shelby because they suck apparently. But yeah, I mean, everything clips back in. Everything is nice and clean. You're ready to put in the, the uh, steering wheel back on, torque it back on with the torque wrench. But we're dumb, so we won't. And there's my neighbor's rs5 sedan which is pretty dope so yeah pretty excited on this gonna put it in there uh tighten everything back up and it should work just fine so um yeah i guess we'll go for a little drive probably be this video will probably end at nighttime because um unless i take this to the gym maybe i'll take it to the gym i don't know i don't know it could be let me just finish installing the steering wheel I'll think about it <laughs> guys we messed up so we put everything back together but I forgot to bolt the steering wheel back in. So obviously this can fall off at any moment. Uh, I now have to get the steering wheel and take off the airbag again. Uh, because I'm me. But I mean, it's pretty cool. It looks way better. Oh my god. I mean, I'm tired. Of it. I'm scared to touch it because it's going to fall off. But it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take this off. Bolt that back in. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're all said and done. The steering wheel is on. And it's actually secure. I actually... <laughs> did not forget to put on the it's secure guys it's not gonna go anywhere which is dope uh we're gonna go ahead and turn on the truck shout out to vmp performance for helping us out make this truck fast check it out man this is magnesium paddles boy uh ford uses on the gt500 all their ford performance products i might be a rice here and get the ford performance silt plates but you know we'll see about that I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this truck uh, and we're gonna go for a little tiny drive. Uh, nothing crazy, we're not gonna be flooring it only because I still have to data log it and get it 100% on the tune. Um, so I need a data log tonight, but I just wanna make sure that the paddles are functional. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna turn on the truck, go for a little drive and I'll see you guys there. Whoop. Great news guys, downshift goes to first. Upshift goes to second. It looks like this is gonna work amazingly. Hell yeah, it's gonna drive. guys so review it definitely works definitely happy with how this uh, Raptor steering wheel is functioning uh, all trucks should just have something like this from the factory nowadays whether you have a column or a, a center console shifter uh, but yeah very glad I did this uh, hopefully you guys like this video we'll see you next time peace